¿Qué onda? And welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Here's part two of Los Callejones in LA. Um, my GoPro also died and uh, like in the middle of the video. And then also I lost my ND filter um, and I didn't get it on uh, video because I had just shut it off because we were going to go use the restroom because uh, there was restrooms upstairs where we were uh, shooting down into the crowd. And it just popped off and just fell into the abyss that is the shops below and never to be seen again. Thankfully, it's just a cheap GoPro filter I got on Amazon for like a pack of four. It was like 20 bucks. So it's like I'm not stressing. I still got extras. Um, so, yeah, so that happened. Um, uh, but, yeah, like uh, I guess the main thing I was kind of touching on in the last video before um, I ended it, uh, I started shooting film this year. Uh, you know, I've been shooting digital for about 10 years. Never really shot film. I shot it here and there, but, uh, you know, I wasn't really uh, into it. But now that I have, like, friends that are really into it, like, I want to experience it and, and have fun with it and try something different, you know, because, again, I've been shooting digital for 10 years. And I got to say, it's very refreshing to just focus on, you know, what it is that you're going to photograph, what your subject is, your composition, all that stuff. You don't have to worry about, like, specs or the tech side of things you're uh, you know you have to really just pay attention to you know how you're going to meter the scene and how um you know you're going to adjust for the lighting conditions and then obviously make sure that your focus is dialed in because a lot of these cameras didn't have autofocus i know my point and shoot does but like you know my a one's all manual and uh it's just fun it's really fun and it's also kind of kind of cool to see where your colors and all that stuff are depending on like you know if you're shooting with expired film or not like i know for example Saul lighter would love to shoot with expired film uh because it would just give his photos a different look because the colors were kind of like all over the place but it was really uh organic you know i, I hate to say that word but it, it was very organic and this whole experience is very organic um and also uh, you know, for example, my first roll of black and white film, I guess I didn't set it in the camera right because I got it back from the developer and they said it was blank, um, which sucks because I got some really good shots where I thought I did. Uh, but now they live in my head as a memory, um, you know, so uh, it's a it's a you know, you only get the one shot and that's it. Like you, the one chance to get it and that's it. Like there's no like redundancy like on digital. And that's something I was talking to Neto about, too, which was um, uh, you know, like getting his take on on the whole thing with film, because he's been shooting a lot longer than I have, and he's just, and he started with film too. So, and he was saying that it was it's it's fun to shoot film because for him it really helped him find his style on how he likes to shoot street photography and like portraiture, for example. Uh, again, because it's it's kind of going back to what I was saying, where like you just have to focus on your composition and really your skill as a photographer rather than like relying on the camera to do some of the legwork. Um, and it's, and you know, like I said, it's it's refreshing to not focus on the tech side of things. Cause I mean, most film cameras, you know, back then were 35 millimeter. Um, and so essentially full frame. So, you know, you didn't have to worry about any like focal length changes from a, a crop factor or anything like that. And essentially there was like no, um, spec war or anything like that like i know as, soon as some of the cameras got better like and and you know as time went on they added other like bells and whistles like uh, i know like they had the canon ae1 then the ae1 program which a lot of people prefer um you know the nikon fm2 is like super popular obviously the leica m6 rangefinder uh the voigtlander that manny's using the besa r2 you know so um I, it really just i guess boiled down to like the preference of the body style you wanted. Um, I personally like shooting street photography with range finders. Like I liked it with my X100B and the X Pro 3. And I definitely want to try it on a film range finder and really see how that experience is like. Um, and I guess also you feel more connected to the scene because you're seeing the, you know, the, the image being reflected into the viewfinder through the mirror. And you feel like you're more aware of what's going on as opposed to like relying on the refresh rate from the um, EVF. And, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely been a, uh, a fun experience, but uh, I'm gonna have to let you guys go now because this is where the video is gonna end because my GoPro died and I ran out of photos. But 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, double tap the dislike button twice. Trust me, it works. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully uh, I'll develop those photos and you'll maybe be able to see them and I'll talk about them in the next video. But anyways, hasta luego.